See if it's park him. Hello and welcome back to another revision here on Tribune. Uh, this game, Tribune, is about the ancient battle of Kanai, one of the most devastating matches the Roman Legion fought against Hannibal and the Carthaic uh, Empire. And, um, well, they kind of messed up. And the thing is, um, this battle was so devastating that it is called the best display of military um, perfection. Uh, well, planning until today, yeah. as, uh, f as uh, essentially for each uh, Carthaginian, uh, ten Roman soldiers died. Um, and even, uh, even so guys like Dwight D. Eisenhower uh, uh, really remembered all that stuff for World War II. Yeah, and so uh, this game is uh, for the poor Romans that got attacked by Hannibal. And, um, well, we uh, opt to do better than them <laughs> back then. <laughs> and so this is the game. And it's a tactical game, as you might have guessed. And it's a board game, such as uh, chess or go or something. Um, but it's more like having a real army and more dynamic, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, this game's called Boo? I <laughs> yeah, it's called Boo. Yeah, because uh, at the end there will be a jump scare uh, in some, some way. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're not going to jump you uh, in this video, but in the game. I hope we can keep up the promise. <laughs> yeah. So. You will find out at the end. So, um, we redistributed our forces. Uh, I created this powerful Equus. Uh, and you tried to counter me or something. I did quite the same. I don't know who, who began this brawl. Hmm. Okay. Perhaps it was me. Um, yeah, oh, staring, perhaps. staring down the entire file with this heavy ballista, pointing directly at the archer in front of your tribune, and yeah, making things a little bit difficult for you to develop your pieces. I I'm still. I can't get over uh, your perhaps. Uh, it's probably more than I will ever get ever again, but still, perhaps? This is, uh, this is more of a defensive move, you know? <laughs> totally defensive. I, f I, just... I feel how you make sure that you cannot die if you can kill me first. Yes. Well, it's... If you long for peace, get ready for war. That's what we say when we say Civis Pacem Parabellum. You can read it here on the lower part. Latin for exactly what I said. And I will try to bring peace to the land. Drive off these barbarians from my home soil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, in the meantime, what happened is I fortified this unit here. It's defended by a, f a power of 5. This unit is also defended but by a power of 8. So it's, uh, it's quite secure. It's just attacked by 6 and 1 piece and it's defended by 3, which is rather nice. And that's the important part. It's not just the power of a unit, but in many cases, the amount of, of units attacking. Because in an exchange, you need more tiny uh, barrages, not, not the heavy shower all the time. But I yeah, tried. But, uh, you went full steam ahead. Yeah. Um, this isn't a threat, however, at the not moment. Really. If you take, I can take like this. And if you then still take i just take it you know, again. I, I take like this yeah 
And so well, I would, I would lose now somewhere. jump in here, but I don't think it's worth it. So uh, that's definitely a sacrifice. What deserves its name? It's <laughs> Twelve pieces for what is it? <laughs> yeah. What are you your, doing to my forces? Can't keep it together. Anyhow. Oh, okay. I defended myself a little bit more. I mean, you you can have too much defense after all, and. You probably attacked me, yeah. Once again. I mean, I, I can't blame you. Well, I, I can, I, and I actively will, but still. Um, yes, you but, can see uh, I still try to kick open the front door. Not caring about side entrances okay. and stuff. Yeah, and but at I, least... Um, yeah. I, I did not see, like, how you were going to get in here. Uh, you, you were just standing around there and wasting time uh, chopping down these pieces. <laughs> the thing is... The lumberjack! <laughs> you, you would take once more and then take to open your attack. Which is two moves to make the attack even happen. Uh, thing is... I felt like I could uh, be much faster. For example, I could do something like this, which would be annoying as this would be attacked and it can't really move that easily. But it is Tribune, not chess, and so you just combine ahead. Okay, you're separating your forces this way. This is bad, but in the next move I could do something like that and my attack rages on. And so, um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, I went there. Similar idea. Ah! <laughs> yeah, but now I'm back. Uh, it's even uh, on material, but... Um, yeah, but no, oh, no well, not, I am yeah. chopping down this dude. No, yeah. you're not. Yeah, like, uh, I, I'm still Admittedly, Which... there was no deeper game plan to this. <laughs> <laughs> it's becoming obvious. Oh no! Oh no! What Your did you do? Man. Please. Okay. Uh, by it's the way, if you wrong. wonder why all these pieces jump around sometimes, this is when we are hitting this repair board button. It's because of the tabletop simulator sometimes messes things up. And we have to bring everything back to the real position in the game. And therefore, yeah, the pictures on top change for like a second and then it's all fine again. I'm attacking this ballista now. I'm feeling quite comfortable. Um, this is still defended like that. Mm. Um, which which is a nice uh, thing you can do. You can like jump around in a circle and still uh, and never lose uh, ice with uh, your target, which is mm. kind of nice. Yeah. For defense. Yeah. The the Secretarius is probably one of the best tactical units in the co complete game. Yeah. I really like this dude. Swift and precise, man. And I do not really know what I intended going here. Now I am a little screwed. But you know. <laughs> nope. No. No, no. So um, basically I'm just shielding myself off. Um, but I can transfer this dude. And now I have another battery on this diagonal. You can, but I thought, well... I'm gonna jump in. I'm hitting him now. Uh, I'm threatening this unit. And I you're way you faster. And I took? Oh no, I did not. Interesting. That's interesting because this would be a fork. Forking this dude and this one. And it is annoying. But this way, it's completely fine. You fortify this one and this threat still is lingering. 
<clears throat> what? I, I like how you did, like in the real war back then, you did not even care or bother to <laughs> save your own troops. Yeah, it's for the, uh, the complete good of the army. I You have to make some uh, sacrifices. For the higher good, I see, I see. Anyhow. Now, look. If he would take here, he can take three. But he remains in position because he cannot defeat this unit entirely. And then I can take. And both of us will lose three pieces. Although I'm down two pieces already, that's not the most convenient part of this. And it went that way. But now you deflected my ballista off the complete file and now you gain control of it. And this is a little bit unnerving. Yeah, so there are a couple of ideas. Uh, first of all, I'm having my eyes on this. I'm obviously uh, looking at the enemy leader and perhaps in the future I can exploit that this guy is pinned, uh, which would be also one idea. So let's see what happens. Uh, your, your guys today, <laughs> they can't behave, man. Um, yeah, so you they there. know what fate is lurking in the dark, my friend. I jumped there. Uh, you did not take. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, this was completely both. nonsense. I overlooked that I can attack here. I think we both uh, overlooked that at the time. Yeah. But that's like in, in real battle. You know, you make mistakes. You have your plan. And then when you get pressured enough, this leads to bad decisions, failures, and sometimes it's fatal. But not for now. So I combined out of the way, opening yeah. this line of attack and opening this one. So I'm guaranteed to win this guy. Yeah. Unless, of course, you come closer and uh, threaten me. But I had some ideas myself. Yeah, I now did. it's a, uh, everything is hanging. Now, if you jump away, uh, instead of taking here, I would, I think, first take here and yeah, then was... take four. Yeah. So, um, it's really bad right now. <laughs> but uh, you managed to create a ballist. No, a centuria. Guy. It's a Centuria. Behave. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we constantly having trouble with the Centuria, and this Tribune dude sometimes slips through and likes to hide himself, and I can't blame him. The situation is really not that good. Yeah, so this was a 100% uh, intentional sacrifice. Uh, on my part. Uh, I did that uh, to lure this guy away and not because I blundered. Um, and so now with a few more, uh, a few less attackers, I chose to take Impero. Why Impero? Well, that's for a simple reason. Um, this unit is quite close to the enemy Tribune. And I thought that I could in the future decombine like this, and then I would have a very powerful unit. Yeah, that's okay. right. An oh, archer sorry. on the horseback. This is your worst nightmare. Quite literally. Because, you know... Even in ancient battles, these troops were tremendous. Uh, if you have a look at the real Battle of Kanai, uh, where all the took place, I guess, 213 years before Christ or something like that. Um, yeah, the cavalry made, made the difference. Uh, the Romans had a lot of infantrymen, heavy infantry, okay, but they had not the, the rider majority, and this led to a failed defeat. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> 
It's a little history lesson we sprinkled in here. I was curious, and that this is quite, quite interesting, really. Mm, so, I'm simply attacking, bringing more uh, units into a state where I can actually utilize them. So, I, um, I would like to point something out. Can I maybe? Where is it? The, no, that's. Uh, I don't know. Which one was correct? Yeah, this one, this one, this one, and this one. You see what's already happening on this board. All the green field and the red circled ones are attacked by these four dudes. Because you have equity all over the place and on all color complexes, this is really a minefield for my tribune now. That's true. So, um, what the the idea here is is to um, bully the enemy away and then take as much stuff as you can. Um, and this is one opportunity still you can combine to be faster uh, in hunting. And so you see that all the units I have are in some way capable of roaming around the whole board, which is the whole purpose of this, well, preparation stage, I would call it. And what did I do? I stepped ahead boldly because I wanted to open up this diagonal, but you have enough firepower to, to turn me away. Yeah, and... I think I should highlight, usually, if you uh, try to hunt a Centuria, you should not trade under any circumstances. Don't, as uh, the fewer pieces you have, the worse uh, it will be to fight the enemy. But in this rare case, there are so many scattered units that uh, the enemy is too slow. And so you can afford to trade, which will leave the enemy weaker than before. Uh, and, well, in other situations it would be horrible. Yeah, yeah and in, in the last video uh, we found out that at least 13 soldiers were enough to bring down the Centuria. Uh, it's it's the video silk wrap if you didn't see it at uh, till now do it. it it's really a specialty how you manage to bring down my tribune how you weave this this trawler net and fished me out of the water i had no chance of escaping and i always thought this centuria to be strong enough to maybe survive at least but no, it's not. So, um, what you see me do here is I'm centralizing my units, taking as much things as I can, and I'm trying to preserve this impro. So I used to be attacked, and um, I would have lost this unit. Either yeah. by taking here, this unit would have been freed, or uh, I would have just uh, I would have just been attacked like this. Yeah. And uh, then, then uh, four units would remain for the white player, and uh, well, that would be bad for me, obviously. So I did not uh, engage in any trading or stuff like that. Yeah, this way you have to just count four pieces from white. Do not really fight for the white side. I have fourteen pieces active on 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 my. Uh... Yeah, on my list, and you have 22 active pieces. So you have definitely the majority. And now I'm desperately trying to bring everything to da uh, to, to together so I get at least some kind of a unit that can help me fighting you back. But you cannot combine anymore. Uh, oh, really? Which is, uh, which is a uh, interesting strategy I employed here. Um, yeah. So, this is all defended. Okay. Is... We would trade and then, yeah, I'm left alone. And you would still have 16 pieces? 
enough, I would say. Uh, not for now, me. If I'm trying to hunt down a Centuria, I will fail. Now what I did is I created this powerful unit. Uh, as outlined before, I have now more movement capabilities than before. Uh, and that is the entire reason why I let this happen. And this time I did not trade. Uh, the reason I didn't is this unit will trade six pieces from my uh, side and I was not um, sure whether that would be in a winning situation. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's and hard so to tell. I, yeah, and so I declined uh, as having more pieces on the board will likely be good for me. So I hunted you. Simple stuff. <laughs> Just attacking, yeah. with combining, not losing things, <laughs> which is the most, uh, or of utmost importance. Then slowly engaging, which is uh, very important. Don't rush or anything, just come close. I don't rush, I... I'm not a Russian. <laughs> well, they're alive. Whoa! Uh, this time I think I thought... Uh, no, I did not. Interesting. Yeah, I d ah. No, you cut away all the fields. Now, um... I cannot you move. move. You can't move. Like, these are your uh, movement fields, and this unit... Oops. This unit and this unit cut you off completely. Yeah. The only unfortunate uh, part uh, in all of this is... That this archer can't really reach you, which is annoying. Um, you would have to take at least three steps to do so. And he has to remain in position because he has a job to do to defend this dude. Ah, no! He is not. He can move. Okay. Oh, goodness <laughs> gracious. This is... So the thing is, he's too slow, like he would have to do three steps, oh sorry, like here and there, and then I would win. Uh, but I do not have three steps, which is unfortunate, you know. And here I think this is very nice, yes, I'm attacking you, but you can clump down and just, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not not um, what I hoped to see, but anyhow. Yeah, but it's not that difficult to, to, to surpass these dudes standing around. Now I am not mobile. Okay, I can maybe take here. This is yeah. a vicious attack, but... And now a very easy way to win is a double attack. Like this. Oh, no, this one does not guard here, but yeah, I can do this. Yeah, um, this is... Double attack. <laughs> the escape is uh, protected. The enemy has to move, but uh, this archer both defends this and but, this. But, but, sorry to intervene. This is a Centuria. The Centuria can go here. Oh. I can step oh. over my own units. Well then, uh, let's let's cut to the uh, chase. Oh, well, I did this. <laughs> you stepped here, and I was a little bit worried. Yeah. Um, yeah, because the point in time when you choose to split up a bigger unit because you're so con convenient and feel, yeah, come on, this is the win, and then you get uh, being surprised by this move. Everything can falter. Yeah, and, and I got uh, I got spooked. This is why we called this boo. Um, I was uh, actually kind of shocked sitting here. And um, what I did is I thought, well, how could I win still? See, uh, this unit is not in danger of uh, being taken as this would liberate and this unit stays in place. This is very important uh, for a lot of situations. This unit 
is defended by this unit, and I'm <clears throat> not going to touch it, so uh, I don't have to worry about this one. This is defended by this one? Correct. And so, but then these let's two. look... These two are not defended at all. And then let's look at the escape uh, fields. You could run back, unless uh, if I put this one away, but again, I'm not going to touch this one. Uh, this one defends both these two hexagons and this hexagon. And so the only hexagons that are in need of being protected are this one, this one, and this one. And so I dealt with the first problem by doing this. Now these two are protected, these white hexagons. But you can then... put this guy here. Yes. Right? Which is an, uh, the move I did uh, in the game. Uh, this just makes sure that you can't walk there, as this is only an attack hexagon. Yeah. And it's an attack on the Centuria. And, uh, well, all the black people. Well, not people. All the green fields and the red fields have to be protected, and they are. This field here in front of me is, uh, is guarded by this dude. The f one field, no, one field farther ahead is protected here. This field is protected there. Uh, everything is neatly in place. It's so ugly! It's, I think it's quite nice. Yeah, it's yeah. not ugly. This is really, this is art. Yeah, martial arts, in a way, but on a higher level, not just man-to-man -man combat, but a theater of pure mastery. Okay, bring it to to the end now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you I'm attack boldly. Me. Yeah, now trying to get the honeypot in, but uh... the archer stops me. And so, and so okay. that is the game. <laughs> Unfortunate, but deserved. Good. Yeah. Thank you very much for your attention. If you like this game, and it is really, really mind-rattling, and you should try it yourself, take a look down below in the description. Uh, we have definitely all the files needed to play Tribun. Uh, over the real board, if you want, you can print it out 3D for the pieces, 2D for the board and the manuals. Everything is neatly in place. Um, we are actually working on our website, uh, www.tribune.org. Um, and what else? Yeah, Max is sometimes when he has some spare time working on a uh, online version, not based on the tabletop simulator, but a standalone version so that everyone out there can play Tribun whenever and wherever he or she wants to. Um, yeah, it will maybe take uh, some time, but we will finish it uh, someday and we will announce it here on the channel. We will be here for you every Friday on 6 p.m. CET. Um, yeah, and I guess it's all for now. You know the drill. See you soon. On Tribune.